What's up guys? Jeremy and Jenna here with Quench Your Adventure. Today we are talking about the RV Essential must-haves. All right, <laughs> let's do it. We got a bunch of stuff around us. We're going to go one by one. Here we go. We're Jenna and Jeremy. In August 2020, we bought an RV. In September 2020, we sold everything and hit the road full time. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. Let's start with our miniature Black & Decker vacuum. We're bougie. We could use a broom. We do have one, but this is we so much easier. We use it every single day. <laughs> Not a lie. Crumbs, dirt, all of it. It helps so much. Super clutch. Then we have our magic bullet. Jeremy and I are huge smoothie people and we used to have a huge blender in our house. Well, that's not the case now. We just make little portion sized smoothies. We love it. Yep. And related to that and to the vacuum, we charge those things from the batteries that are charged by our solar panels. So maybe that's not a must have. We have a generator as a backup, but honorable mention solar panels. Oh, I don't know. That deserves first place. Who wants to talk about this one? This is called Poo Pourri before you go spray. Uh, we use this in the beginning. Basically, you spray the toilet water bowl, which there isn't much water. Yeah. So this wasn't really working that well. It's a nice little spray. But instead, we use these. These are called Bio Packs by Walix. Um, a lot of RV, RV dealerships sell them, um, like Camping World and, and Cabela's and places like that. But these have helped us. We're still the, experimenting. With some of the stank, <laughs> some of the black water tank stank that we don't like, this has helped kind of get rid of some of that bacteria. Smell. That's a whole nother video because we're not perfect there <laughs> yeah, yet. Yeah, we'd love to learn if you do anything better than the stinky stinks. The banana hammock. We've got this, it hangs right under our cabinets. And this is not a good example right now because we drove down a really bumpy dirt road. Oh my road gosh, it's so bruised. And I think it was smacking against the wall. It was, I heard so. it last night. Anyway, still an awesome, <laughs> Resource. You can get them for your house too. It actually comes in like a little stand, <laughs> like a hammock, but that mm. one we just used for the RV. Next up, this was a Christmas present from my mom and dad. It is a two quart air fryer, and I cannot believe how many meals and food I have made using this bad boy instead of having to deal with the propane and the lighter and all that stuff. Just plug it in, start cooking away. Yep. All right, let's talk about water. We used this for probably the first six months. This is an Aqua Crest RV water filter. Gets the job done, but it's a 20 micron filter. So we have since upgraded to this thing, <laughs> which is a beast. But we'll probably do a video on just this alone. This is the Clear Source Ultra. It's an RV water filter. The difference is just in the filters, right? So this goes down to a 0.5 micron, Dang. meaning it is much smaller and it gets out everything. And there's even a virus guard, which apparently no other RV water filter has. So definitely seems a far superior RV water filter compared to what we were using. And let's not forget about jamming. <laughs> uh, we've had cars before where we had just connected our phones and it played immediately. Bluetooth. Well, we have a 2007. There's nothing for that. So yeah. we connect our phones to this. This plays our music, podcast, whatever we want out loud. Yeah. And this is called Ultimate Ears. I think it's the Wonder Boom. Wonder Boom, yes. Maybe the Wonder Boom 2. It's, um, Wonder I Boom think, 2. like impact proof and I think it's at least Waterproof. water resistant. It works um, so well. I haven't had awesome. any complaints about it. Yeah. If you're going to be on the road, uh, you're probably going to need to learn some handy skills or spend the money. We bought a tool set. This, I think, is like a 111-piece tool set from Harbor Freight. You know, not bad as far as pricing. It's the Pittsburgh brand and uh, it does, you know, most of what I've needed to do. There was a couple of sizes, right? Like you could get like the Yeah, there was like a 315 or something like that. I kind of went for the middle of the road and still seems to get most of the jobs done. Earplugs! <laughs> These have come in handy in a lot of areas where you might be sleeping near a city, a Walmart parking lot. It's just loud. You're distracted Truck stops. at night. Yeah, loud cars. So we're just investing investing in a big amount because we used to buy yeah. them in like a pack of five, six. Now we have 50 pairs. 50 pairs. <laughs> yeah, very helpful. Velcro, right? So we Velcro a lot of stuff. I mean, mirrors on walls, decorations, plants. plants Things move, and if you're driving the whole house, then this helps to keep things stationary, especially on the table if you're putting decor, etc. Yes, yes. 
Uh, we have a lot more to show you that we'll be showing you in different videos about things that we can't really remove yeah. from the RV. Yeah. But we can mention them though. So maybe grab the list, but a huge one. And so we work from the road full time. We need good cell service, right? So we did invest $500 in the WeBoost RV and I somehow kind of surprised myself, was able to mount it, I think properly and actually run the wire and down through think and it works. another <laughs> interior antenna. But I mean, right now we're sitting in Shiprock, Shiprock, New Mexico, and we were just on work calls before this. True so it, it seems to boost your signal. And if you have some signal, it should amplify it and give you better signal. So that's huge. And then Jeremy researched for hours, days, maybe even a week yeah. about the best Wi-Fi hotspot we've been using Verizon. We were using Skyrim and we think we finally found what we yeah. really like. So I mean, RV that's it guys. Yes, that's a video in itself that we'll probably do to go into more detail. But for now, it seems to be working great. The company, it's RVIT guy is mm -hmm. the name of it. And they sell a beacon that I think it was maybe $195 for both the activation and the beacon. And then we pay 99 bucks a month for what they claim to be unlimited and unthrottled service. And so far, it has been very good. I mean, no real complaints aside from a network drop here and there. Um, but that's pretty normal, we think. So anyway, enough speaking on that one. Speaking of laptops, speaking of iPads, these are the items that we found that were very helpful. This connects to like a cupboard or a wall or something and you can connect your ipad and watch tv right in front of your face so we do have a tv you know mounted in the rv but it's near the front like by the couch and we like to watch in bed sometimes so this we actually are able to mount on the cabinet you know right over the bed in front it of our faces just so in our face. that's really nice luxury and then jeremy uses this most of the time for yeah. his laptop to have what yeah, just prop it up angle? a little bit and I also put it on something else so that it's a little more face and eye level so I'm not hunched over and for typing it is a little more comfortable for me so just ergonomics. In the bathroom we found two things that were super helpful that the previous owners had either had in it or the mm -hmm. RV itself had in it. Yep. So the first one that I love the most is a tissue holder and it, it has the tissue box upside down so you just grab and pull grab and pull and it's stationary up against the wall stuck so it's not falling all over the place the tissues are always where you left them <laughs> very convenient and, then, and lastly we have the shampoo holder among other things it's yeah shampoo conditioner so, lotion and, and like body wash all in one like it would be in you know a hotel room dispenser. where you know you can fill them up from the top and simply you know press the button otherwise all the bottles would be swaying in the rv <laughs> back yeah. and forth so that's convenient and one other uh thing to mention <laughs> I was gonna say um, we don't have it but we're doing some research on maybe getting a nicer shower head to make for better water pressure um so yeah it, we've heard a few recommendations we'll be looking into that another thing that maybe we do or don't have i don't know is a RV key holder. Oh, nice. Make nice, sure you yeah. have somewhere else <laughs> that you keep a key. Yeah. Because I have locked us out of the RV twice. <laughs> so please make sure somewhere there's another key. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, very cheap thing to go, yeah, you know, spend six, bucks. seven bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was less than that. Yeah. For, you know, a magnetic key holder to put somewhere hidden where hopefully only you will correct, find it. Correct. And in the moment when you are locked out, you'll be like, oh, thank God I did that. Yes. Well, cool. I think that's it. I think <laughs> nice. it was about 15, 16 different items that we mentioned. We seriously hope it helps you guys. And if you have any other tips, tricks, ideas, essentials, must haves, yep. please comment below for sure yeah there's plenty more so like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly travel videos all right guys see thank you. you really funky rocks here and look at that a nest <laughs> wow look at this landscape the strangest ever